I'll read my hard copies of the agenda. Um, Stuart, Stuart um, indicated that we are recording. So we'll have to get a council resolution to provide the recording of the council meeting. Because right now, those people that were watching, they didn't hear any of the dialogue. Yeah. Well, anyways, it's reaching out, Julie. So you have your iPads? So Stuart confirming we're, we're recording this council meeting? Yes. Okay. So uh, if you have your iPads, um, we'll continue on that way. Uh, Mine is on my mobile device. That's how I want to see my mobile device. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, I guess uh, we'll reconvene council at uh, 3.40 p.m. and uh, noting that uh, we'll be working with our own agendas, the uh, central agenda is not working for us. But it is, it is we are, are being recorded. As well. Okay, uh, we were finishing off the uh, CAO's report. Have you got anything else? I know. I think, uh, no, you're right. We need a motion to accept the CAO's report. I also move to accept that report. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Okay. Um, we'll move on. Uh, <clears throat> I guess the CAO can bring us up to speed on ECC uh, COVID 19. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, from an ECC perspective, one of the items we talked about the other day was we did get some public complaints regarding our outdoor um, um, surface, uh, just the one at that given time. Um, so we are, we are ensuring that uh, uh, we're doing our calculations on capacity of the outdoor skating facilities in order to monitor, making sure that uh, people are compliance, uh, in compliance with, uh, with the health restrictions. But we did have some public um, responses to um, excessive uh, demand on those facilities. So likely uh, in a conversation tomorrow, we'll make sure the community needs to be reminded of of those activities and what's expected of them. Um, as we know that uh, the government has prolonged the current restrictions to, to January the 21st. Um, and I don't know if there's any indication at this given time on when they will be announcing or reviewing those restrictions. Um, and that's really it. Yeah, so just had a, quite a quick, a quick meeting um, on Wednesday. We continue to meet every Wednesday. That's my report. Any questions about it? Your Worship, to the CEO, it, it seems that the numbers have dropped quite a bit for our area, right? But it's failing Red Deer County South. And yeah, it's getting news for sure. Yeah. Do you have the latest? Or? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, I think it was like 20 or 21 or something in our area. So I think you were telling us 51 a few weeks ago. So that's, that's good news. So. 
You know, she's old provinces down there. Or, yeah, the whole province is down to 800. Some compared to almost 2,000 when they, they, they kick in the limitations. So I guess it worked. Uh, are there any other questions of the ECC committee? Not would someone like to move uh, the report? I'll move that report. Thank, thank you, Councillor Bates. Bates. All in favor? Carry. Thank you. Council Action Control. Any questions of that uh, report? And would someone like to move that we adopt the uh, report for information? You were your vice president. Thank you, Councilor. All in favor? favor. Carry. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, we have an RFT regarding bylaw 1661. To 2021 to amend the, the council procedure bylaw. Thanks, Your Worship. This is just to change the procedure bylaw for the three o'clock council meeting start time. And we're looking for all three readings of the bylaw. Okay. I'm prepared to make a motion to give this first reading. I will, Your Worship, all that uh, we give first reading to Bylaw 1661-2021 to amend the Council Procedure Bylaw 1646-2020. Thank you, Councilor Barclay. Discussion? Councilor Hill? Okay. Maybe you want to go back to one o'clock. Uh, okay, um, we have a motion to give this first reading. All in favor of the motion? Carried. Someone prepared to make a motion for second reading for this? I'll move that we give this uh, bylaw second reading, bylaw 1661-2021. Thank you, Councillor Bates. Discussion? Discussion. All in favor of the motion? Carried. Would someone like to move that we give this third and final reading? I'll move that we proceed to the third reading. reading. Okay. All in favor of the motion? Carried. And someone prepared to make a motion for the third and final reading? Yes, Your Worship. Uh, I move that we approve third reading uh, bylaw 1561-2021 to amend the procedural bylaw. Okay, thank you, Councilor Harrison. All in favor of the motion? Carried. Thank you, Vanessa. Moving on to operational services, we have an RFD regarding 53rd Avenue reconstruction. Yep. Uh, so in front of you, Council, is just the uh, recommendation for award of the contract for the 53rd Avenue reconstruction. Uh, a little background on the project itself. So existing pipe is ductile iron, uh, saturated pipe is clay tile, uh, as well as we have a history of uh, multiple dig-ups on that roadway. Um, construction is consisting of replacement of the water main, sanitary main, services to property line, as well as the road structure. Uh, similar to what we did last year on 38, we are uh, looking to just replace the roadway to asphalt millings to allow for any settlements for the remainder of the year, and then putting the project onto the paving in 2022 for final surfacing. The project had uh, 14 bidders uh, submit on December 10th, and the lowest bid was to DB Bobcat at $800,731.55. Highest bidder, uh, Standard General, was $1.553 million, so quite a range in pricing. 
The tender evaluation was completed by Altera. Uh, I didn't see any outstanding and balanced items in the comparison. It is their recommendation uh, to award the contract to DB Bobcat. Uh, DB Bobcat is a general contractor based out of the home. They have about 30 years of experience starting with naming smaller projects, uh, doing site creating, basement excavations. Over the last number of years, they have expanded into road construction and deep utility servicing. Um, the original design of the project uh, was to include just a lining of a section of sanitary main that was directly underneath the uh, sidewalk. But due to the very competitive pricing, we had requested a price uh, from BB Bobcat to include a scope change to replace all of the sanitary main completely. This would this add an additional cost of forty nine thousand six hundred eleven and sixty cents. This would increase the total contract to eight hundred fifty thousand three hundred forty three fifteen cents. Total project uh, with engineering and contingency is one million twenty one thousand five hundred fourteen and forty seven cents. This is an under the budgeted number of one million one hundred twelve thousand. So it is our recommendation that Council approves the award for 53rd Ave uh, to DB Bobcat Services for the price of 850343 to be funded uh, from the Municipal Stimulus Program. I'll take any questions. I have uh, the one question, I guess. We had talked, uh, Stephen, about doing that extra block and this includes that extra portion right up to the park corner does it correct yeah yeah 37 all the way to uh 41st yeah because yeah. i know i was in the in the works if, we, if the budget didn't have enough to do that last block you were going to do it but that's good okay any other uh, discussion so I'm not prepared to make a motion. Uh, no, I don't know if you want discussion or motion. I'll, I'll make I'll a motion, motion that we proceed as recommended, and then I do have a question. So my question is, um, you had a bit of dialogue about them working their way up from smaller projects. Um, they have done this size of project. Uh, I have not worked with DB Bobcat, but my understanding from Altera is they do have experience with this type of uh, scope with that contract. So no concerns at this point. So yeah, yeah, no concerns at this point uh, with the contractor. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. well, any further discussion? If not, all in favor of the motion. Thank you, Mr. Candy. Move on to uh, an RFD regarding land sale of number 38, Napoleon Meadows Way. All right, All right. So, so we have received an offer, a purchase offer for 38, 38 Napoleon Meadows Way um, for $108,000. The listed price for that lot is $119,000 currently. Uh, 38 uh, Napoleon Meadows Way is the last lot on, on the south, uh, uh, south side, side of Napoleon, Napoleon Meadows backing back into the green space that's available. Um, and administration is recommending that council approve the sale uh, for 38 Napoleon Meadows Way at $108,000 per the offer to purchase. Okay. Uh, we're looking for the motion to uh, accept this offer of $108,000 for Lot number 38. Someone pre prepared to make that motion? Yeah, I'll make that motion, Your Worship. Thank you, Councillor Barkley. Any discussion? All in favor of the motion. Carry on. Thank you. Six point two RFD regarding the current club facility lease. 
Okay, so we're looking to present a request that was received from the Innisville Curling Club uh, to consider the waiver of their 2021 lease. Uh, the Innisville Curling Club has a lease through 2024 with the town for the use and operation of the curling rink. The lease requires an annual payment of $5,000 and allows for the off-season sublet of the facility by the curling club. Uh, the curling club has requested consideration of forgiveness of their 2021 lease payment that is currently due. The club has experienced significant impacts due to the COVID-19 restrictions on facility operations. Uh, the club usually receives revenue uh, through the spring and summer uh, from shuffleboard, as well as their regular bonds field play through the winter. Uh, the club took on significant expenses to open and meet COVID restrictions in the fall, only to be shut down in December. And even if restrictions are lifted, the curling season typically only runs until March. Um, so the curling club did pay their 2020 lease uh, payment, um, but did experience very little revenue last year. So they didn't have the shuffleboard through the summer and then um, the impacts this fall. So administration is recommending that council uh, waive the $5,000 lease payment uh, for the Innisville Curling Club for the 2021 year. Okay, is someone prepared to make a motion to support that? Yes, Your Worship, I would make that motion. Okay. Thank you, Councillor Hill. Discussion? Uh, three uh, Director Weimar, Weimar, is there something we could we cover through the government COVID money? Could we? Is that, is that what that's, that's for? for? <laughs> Have you got any left? Your Worship, <laughs> to Council. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll take that into account. We, we have yeah, March 31st to spend yeah. that, that money, so it will go into the tally of the of that COVID fund. Good. Okay, okay. any other discussion? All in favor of motion. Carrie, thank you. Correspondence. Your Worship, to the Director Kenny, I just want to say thank you for um, adding Lakewood and 54 to the Alberta Transportation. And I think even that intersection, you know, there, there's, um, if you come off a little red deer to turn right on to uh, 54, there's there's no lane to turn into. You, you turn into the traffic. There's no acceleration lane there either. So I don't know how long it takes for anybody to get back to you and, and or how that review gets started. But um, there was certainly a very terrible accident there. <clears throat> I think it was in December where somebody was airlifted out to Calgary. So. And we did get a uh, pretty much uh, the next day response from from Mike in regards to having someone look into those intersections. So we did get a, yeah, quite a quick response. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, there's been quite a number of pretty serious situations there. So, anyways, is someone prepared to make a motion? We accept this correspondence for information. I'd so move, move your worship. Accept uh, correspondence and information. Thank you, Councilor Harrison. Any further discussion on those? All in favor of motion? Carried. Council reports. Councilor Hill, are you prepared? You, you, yes, I am, Your Worship. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, pretty well. Just excited to get back uh, back at it after our, our long extended uh, break. Um, definitely have had a lot of really good things to hear about the. Uh, the outdoor yeah, rinks and it is unfortunate that they're that they're uh, is obviously so well used that they're exceeding numbers in some areas. So uh, the one question I did have for administration is um, as far as the flooding schedules or how that all looks, what would be a typical expectation from the public from the administration uh, as to how often they're flooded? 
when they're flooded, um, just, just for uh, what would be feasible. So typically what we do is flood them the first thing in the morning. Um, and then as it, it depends on resources, if we do get a second flood, we have been trying to, and we're building the first two new ones, uh, but it does have enough resources. Uh, but we do typically always have the first flood in first thing in the morning. And that's, and that's Monday through Friday, is that correct? Correct. Monday okay. through Friday. Yep. Okay. And, and uh, obviously, I, I ju we just don't have the resources at this given time to, to look at a because that's obviously when they're used the most typically would be on a weekend. Um, I can fully understand why, uh, you know, I was getting obviously a few complaints as everyone tends to, right, with ex a lot of use and then their snow builds up and it's hard to play hockey and whatever else. But they're, the question is why, why, is there any way it could be flooded on a weekend? And I answered, but it's pretty resourceful. Like it takes a lot of uh, resources to do that, but uh, I don't know if that had ever been brought up in any discussions up till now. Uh, no, it hasn't been brought up till now. We do just base it on our policy of going Monday to Friday. Okay. For our okay. Thank you. And that's, that's all for me, Your Worship. Councilor Beach. Yeah. So. Same, just getting back at it. I certainly did have a few questions from people about code of conduct. Um, I have a couple of questions. Maybe I didn't get the memos. Um, what's the status of the bus from Red Deer, the service? That... Uh, the service has been extended through March. Uh, so the bus will continue uh, until March. And uh, Karen will be here next week, I believe, with an update. Um, on the, that activity as well. Okay, thank you. And the other one we've seen a, for a couple of months, I think, a white Jeep Cherokee with Arbor metrics on it. And I'm wondering what does it, what's that all about? Does anybody know? Yes, Your Worship. I actually did stop the gentleman at the FastCast to ask what they do, and they're subcontracted by Fortis to uh, for vegetation control for power lines. And that's why they're in that seem to be kind of in the Dodds area land. Well, they've been there's so, quite a few areas, and they sit there. And, yeah, it's vegetation. I thought they were doing surveys. Thank vegetation you. control is what it is. Thank you. And that's all I have. Yeah, so um, last week, um, CEO Becker and Stewart and I met with um, President Tyrell Robinson and, and uh, VP. Devon Napsinger uh, from the chamber for two and a half hours. So it, it was an excellent meeting. And, um, you know, a lot of it was focused on the, the 13 ways. There was some concerns that uh, there were specific dates put into that document and that, you know, some of the quick ones, i.e. swings were, were going to be installed right away with without kind of any consultation. So um, we spoke about that a lot, uh, touched a little bit on you know, if the chamber is able to gather any data as far as, like I mentioned earlier in the meeting, um, you know, what, what the businesses that are impacted the most at COVID, you know, what are they missing? Why are they slipping through the cracks of maybe some of these um, government programs that are available? And um, so I, I'm not sure if they've done some of that already in the previous few months, but I, I think that would be kind of interesting to, to see. And uh, other than that, uh, I, I know there's a lot in here about uh, operations and keeping the, the walkways and everything clear. And so I'd like to say thanks for doing such a great job. I had somebody reach out to me today on the matter that's happening tomorrow. And they also mentioned that they were uh, really pleased with um, with Director Jenkins for, um, I think she's reached out to a few people on some grant money that's available maybe through the, the elemental energy um, fund and, and stuff. So they were really appreciative that um, somebody would actually reach out to them. So, so thank you for that. And other than that, um, let's see. Well, I haven't got anything. No, 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 I should not. I have to, but now I can come on, on their two reports because this morning, at the, the uh, bus stop uh, at the historical village, there was three people waiting and then a fourth one chased the bus down just as it was leaving. So the bus is being used. And uh, I noticed in the, the town of Oaks advertisement of their 
publicity of their eight outdoor rinks. It says that you bring your own shovel and maintain it. So there's a, we could we could go with that. Yeah, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, it was very quiet over Christmas break. I didn't go anywhere. I, I stayed at home, put my feet up. Um, I too have had comments on the outdoor rink. So again, uh, more kudos to Stephen and the <coughs> and the public works guys for, for doing that. Um, upcoming uh, this Wednesday, we have our community policing committee, and uh, looking forward to. Uh, councilor, councilor, county councilor Pat Boda coming to give a presentation on the uh, initiative that she's been spearheading for a number of months. So, really looking forward to that. So, and uh, looking forward to 2021 and uh, going forth. We have a lot of weight, and it's it's uh, it's going to be positive and fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you, you. Councilor uh, Hershey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I haven't done much either. Sure. Other than, uh, of course, uh, taking a few phone calls and, and comments about uh, various things. things. The, uh, I, I do, I do agree, though. Or don't. I guess you wouldn't say agree, but if we're going to do outdoor rinks. Uh, you got to do them right. You can't and just flood them. And if we're having a problem on the weekends, I did. Uh, I made a point of going over to Silver Lake yesterday. Uh, the wife and I and went for a walk on Lakeshore Drive, and uh, it was incredible the activity on the lake. The whole is about three or four areas that are flooded for skating, one for hockey, another one for. Actually, Actually two big ones just, just for skating. skating. But, but uh, uh, wow, it was un unbelievable. The people there, there, but they did they have, have a three man crew there, there. flooding. Flooding. They had a big tandem truck with water and another one with a heater on the back. And so, uh, you know, it uh, doesn't come cheap to have that kind of facility. But, anyways, uh, I just I just think, though, uh, you know, if we're going to have, we've only got two or three outdoor rinks that, you know, we should be doing a, a proper job on them, but uh, I don't know what we even flood with anymore down on those outdoor rinks. Uh, Director Kennedy, you got a, it's a spray bar and a tractor. It is a tractor, yeah, with a unit behind it, the tank uh, with a spray bar. Bottom tank, so. Yep. yep. Anyways, uh, I don't think I have anything else other than I guess should I mention that I do have the verses that uh, uh, I'm uh, holding in my hand the signed resignation of Councillor Kerry from Town Council officially as of uh, today. So uh, that'll be. Uh, Interesting uh, in, from the community, but I'm um, sorry, sorry to see that Councillor Carrot couldn't make things work. work. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think his heart's in the right place, but it just, he just <laughs> uh, I guess, couldn't, uh, didn't like the work. But I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, <clears throat> I guess, I guess uh, there won't be any need for uh, by election or anything with uh, the main election coming up here in eight months, right? You were sure to come back to the next regular council meeting with uh, with with that yeah, right. and formal process. Okay, thank you, uh, Todd. So, anyways, anyways that's about it. it. Uh, upcoming uh, events. events. Open oh, mic, mic is out, sorry. Uh, quickly, quickly go around the table, table Stephen. Have you got anything you want to mention? Or Heather? Heather? Megan? No? Ken? Stuart? Oh, I've got something. Vanessa? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm assuming everybody had a quiet New Year's as we did. I, uh, I made it at midnight. The wife, the wife beat me to bed about two hours. But uh, anyways, 
open mic, uh, post uh, upcoming events. There is a Mountain View Regional Water Commission meeting on uh, this Wednesday. And we're having quite a time with, uh, with the uh, grant people that when we did the 20, $28 million project from Holes to Crossfield, Twin that Line, and uh, we haven't got the last $3 million of the grant. So uh, they uh, didn't help us spend half a million dollars on that water break that we had down by Bodo, but uh, it's starting to cut in on the cash flow a little bit. So uh, we said, uh, Record, request requested a payment for the balance of that grant and uh, got a letter back from uh, Mr. McKay, the new uh, minister of that department, in term, anyways, saying that, uh, that they have, don't have the money and uh, don't intend to uh, think we can do without it. And uh, we've since <laughs> sent them a letter said, no, 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 no. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the battle on, on, uh, on that regard. Uh, I won't say it, but I think Blinky was so too up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, I don't have any confusion there, but we'll work through that. Uh, I don't think I had anything else, but. We have a meeting on Wednesday. So oh, I guess yes, if there's yes. nothing else, just, one thing yeah. um, just on this meeting, Council, uh, again, staff yeah. indicated we have this recorded. Um, although we don't have a policy regarding providing a right. copy, it would require a resolution of Council, but I think to ensure your, your dedication to transparency, to make uh, the recording of the council meeting available um, through our website, we'll promote that into the community um, and, and require resolution in that regard. So we're, okay. So we're not live, like we're not available to the public. We are, Yeah. we're not. Uh, I think we're not meeting the requirements of MGA because the doors are open, but with uh, COVID, people have an expectation to be available through Digital, digital, virtual, virtual. so with a resolution and a direct administration to um, put, uh, promote the council meeting through through digital um, access, I guess, for, for public meeting. All right. I said so whatever he just said. <laughs> yeah, sorry. However, oh, Vanessa yeah. puts that. Yeah. It's, 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 uh, council meeting available through digital format. Okay. Any discussion? Any discussion? All, All in favor? favor. Just, just, just a question. Oh, I'm sorry. Your Worship, uh, when, when will, will it be available? Will it be available this evening or first thing tomorrow morning? I direct you to ask Stuart, I guess. You don't need to mind my yeah, you're yeah, working with Council Harrison. I don't I have an answer to that at the moment. Certainly, it'll be as soon as, as we possibly can. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Nothing else? Would someone like to move? We go oh, into it. We, we missed two, two actually. Hours. We missed up. Oh, we didn't we did finish, finish the upcoming yeah. events. I was going to actually say See, there is already our mug good. meeting on the 21st. And so now, I guess we need to motion that the upcoming events are accepted. No? Okay, so that's good. Then we can move. I wasn't done with the upcoming events, sorry. Thank you. Oh, yes. So now we need to vote on that. All right. Those in favor of motion. Carry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, okay. Uh, now I think we can entertain a motion to move in camera. I, I will make a motion to move in camera. Okay, thank you. All in favor? Carried. Take a couple minute break.